What is it about uh, young people nowadays that feel like um, there, there's a hole to fill? Um, they are feeling somehow estranged from the society in which they live, uh, a little bit sort of unanchored, untethered, unsettled. Nothing is more countercultural today than ISIS. So it is, uh, it is a rebellion against uh, mainstream Muslim values in Europe, and it's a, main, it's a rebellion against mainstream Western values as well. And I think this is one reason why you find a lot of new converts that are joining. So there are people that not or not yet join extremist crew, but share the very same religious value that the extremist group has. Their starting point for any young person is, you're powerful, we need you. We have a just cause, whatever it is, and you are a driver of change and we need you. And too many of the efforts that are framed around countering violent extremism approach young people as, you poor young people, you're marginalized, you're alienated, you need, you need our help. And it's not the most empowering thing. So uh, um, the second thing that you see happening oftentimes is stuff that seeks to talk at young people doesn't go nearly as well as things that give young people a voice. So approaching issues from a cultural vantage point appeals to the soul and senses of individuals because they feel their values are being understood and recognized by others. We have to shift our way of seeing refugees and our very way of doing business. We have to regard them not just as a humanitarian issue, although they are, but also as an economic issue. We have to recognize that the skills, talents, and aspirations of refugees hold the key to solving many of these challenges and to opening up refugees to be contributors to their societies. We're here as philanthropists, as a philanthropic community, to think about how we might engage, how we might change how the world addresses this crisis. At its core, it is a moral crisis for us. We have a lot of people who are so poor, who are heartbroken, who are desperate, and remembering that they too are still human beings like us. They appreciate a conversation that is so decent, and they can just give them a little tiny help so that they can stand up and be on their own and to help someone else. That openness and willingness to experiment and take a risk with maybe different partners or different players or different approaches to achieve what you're trying to achieve is just a critically important part of philanthropy. Because at the end of the day, you know, you get to be part of their movement. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a doctor like Deo. I'm not a, a, you know, an information specialist and the incredible background of Jeannie and Sasha understands how to help people gain asylum. Um, better than anyone I know. I can't do their jobs, but I can help fund their jobs. And when I get to fund their jobs, I get to be a part of making the world a better place. And so I really bet on the people. It's not rocket science.